Okay, so I just touched on my last video about uh, magnetic variation, which in its simplest forms, on any map, your grid lines are pointing to grid north, true north. Your compass will point to magnetic north. Now, unfortunately, they're not the same thing. And depending upon where you are on the world, there's going to be a either small or a big variation. In the UK at the minute, I think it's anywhere between zero and five degrees. I think it's is it three degrees at the minute. Um. So you need to bear this in mind. If you're just following a map like I do, and you're sticking to trails and tracks, etc., you, you're not going to notice the difference. If you're doing anything long distance and you're in a different part of the world, you're going to have to take note of this. Now, all maps in the UK have the information on the OS maps, which is here. I'll get a quick photo of it for you. So, depending on where you are in the world, what map you're using, there will be this information on it. Okay? And it will give you the degrees of what you need to adjust your compass bearing. And so you add it to the bearing that you've taken, if that makes sense. Um, there's an easy way to remember this, which is grid to mag add so add the difference to your bearing adjust it on your compass and that will be your your adjusted bearing dependent on your magnetic variation if that makes sense uh, as I live in the UK I never have to bother with that but it's certainly something to be aware of if if you're not um, because if you're in say I think if you're in Western Canada, the declination is something like 20 odd degrees. So you really need to know this stuff if it's that kind of a, a variation. So there you go, that's uh, magnetic variation or declination regarding maps and compasses. Thanks.